Lately, I've been thinking to myself that the more I understand about humans, well, our beliefs, our biases, our behaviors, and generally talking, our brain, the more I realize that how imperfect we are. You want to know why? See the rest of the video. Hi guys, I'm Puriya. Welcome to the episode 5 of the Don't Buy Before Watching This series. Well, it would be great to just remind you again, this series is about the books that you want to buy, but you're not sure whether to buy it or not. So I'm reviewing these books for you, Fast and Furious, so that you can decide better. Today we have a spectacular book. This book is The Brain from David Eagleman. So without further ado, let's start this review and see if this book worth your money or not. But before we start our review, last night, 28th of May 2020, NASA and SpaceX wanted to send a rocket to the space. But as you may all know, this launch has been cancelled due to the weather conditions. Well, that was a bummer because I was just seeing the live for almost 2 hours and just 16 minutes before the launch they have announced that the weather is not good for this launch. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? Well, I hope NASA and SpaceX a successful mission on the 30th of May, two days later. Hope you safe travel, Dragon. Peace. So let's quickly talk about the details of the book. This book this book is 230 pages and Goodreads rating is 4.3 out of 5, okay? So already this is going to show you and this is going to be a good sign that this book worth buying because it has high ratings and it is fairly short. Do you hear the sound? Do you hear the noise? Because there's a construction near to our house and I don't know why they have started now because it's 6 p.m. But okay, let's just quickly review the list of the chapters. The first chapter, who am I? Second, who, what is reality? Third chapter, who is in control? Fourth chapter, how do I decide? Fifth chapter, do I need you? And sixth chapter, who will we be? Who will we be? So these are some extraordinary important questions okay second section what have I learned from this book okay uh, well, to seriously talk about it I have numbered uh, the things that I've learned from this book and finally I've ended up with 20 things that I didn't know before reading this book so to just talk about it right now in this review it would be extremely time-consuming but one general thing that I've understood is that, well, you may be surprised right now, that do not trust your mind because, you know, it's stupid and unreliable. No, seriously, over the course of one year, only one year, 50%, this is 50, oh no, 5th, okay, from now on this is 50. 50% 50 of your memory in the course of one year would be deleted, removed, or changed. So how do you trust the mind? It is super unreliable. You cannot rely on your memories. Spell red. Red. L S T E R. What number comes between two and four? Four, four, five, five. Thirty-six. Oh. If you have exam right now. You, you truly know what I'm talking about because I don't have exam I, I'm, I'm graduated okay you have exam you know what I'm talking about so how, how are you gonna believe in these stories that old people said about the things that have no proof they are just stories how do you believe in them stories anecdotes tales seriously do you believe in them over the course of one year 50 half of your memory would be changed so how do you believe in a story that is from i don't know thousand years hundred years 15 years 
you cannot trust anything. The brain has no ability to remember the events impeccably. It means without any deficiency. You definitely change some things when you are remembering an event. What you see, what you hear, what you feel and what you believe as reality is all in your mind and it is all subject to the deficiencies of your mind. We as humans are subservient to the construct of our minds. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. We are limited of the physicality of our minds. Minds. Free will? No way. What are you talking about? Free will? Well, everybody thinks that they have free will, you know? But truly, neuroscience believes that there is no such thing as free will. Who told you that you can decide for yourself? You are not the person who decides for yourself. This is your brain. This is your consciousness. We all have the illusion of free will. The illusion of certainty. That we know all the things and we decide according to our knowings. But let me tell you one thing. If you read this book, you will understand that there's no such thing. We don't know what we do. We don't know what we decide. But the interesting point that I've thought about it the other day was that democracy, one of the pillars of democracy is free will. So that people can decide according to their will. But seriously, but what happens that now we understand that neuroscientists prove that humans have no free will. So, so the fundamentals of an ideology is based on exactly what? A lie? Because we have no free will. Democracy is talking about free will? Media can easily deceive you and change the way you decide. So, where is the free will right here? Huh? I don't know. Okay, let's just, just enter into this subject. It's a bit controversial and you know that. The third section, who should read this book? Okay, this is the most important section in the reviews because at last you're gonna understand whether to buy this book or not, whether this book is for you or not. Well, hear me out. This book is absolutely for you. You wanna know why? Because if you understand more about your mind, because seriously, it is your mind, you should know about it. If you understand how your mind works, you're gonna be mindful about your actions. You're gonna be mindful about your every behavior. You're gonna be mindful about others. You're gonna know about every reason of your every action. You let go of your dogmatic beliefs. You let go of your biases. So do I have to talk more about the benefits of this book? No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Our environment, the behavior of others to others, the behavior of your parents, the things you eat, the things you don't eat, all of the stuff that you do, all the music that you hear, all, all is going to shape your mind. So your mind is an amalgam. of different stuff so you're gonna be seriously careful about what you read what you hear what you see and how you behave toward others brains <laughs> you know it's seriously important to know about brain specifically who should read this book and specifically parents should read this book because they're gonna understand how their behavior affected the construct of their child's mind. And this book is gonna tell you how to shape your children's minds. Ah, uh, monkey on the car. Monkey on the car. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> and the fourth and final section, verdict. So I give this book full ratings and you might have guessed that but I don't know how to accentuate the importance of reading this book. Seriously, you should read this book. 
If you want to just take only one thing from my video, it must be that you should buy this book and read it. Hey, my name is Puria and until the next video, keep it safe and healthy and I will see you in the next Tuesday tutorial. Peace!